Hey everybody, this is Pedro Gomez from True Estate. In this episode, we are going to go to check out one of the Philadelphia's popular spot for cheese steak. Philly steak. Go through one of the largest cigar festivals in the world, Cigar Fest, and while smoking some underground Maduro. All this and more on Go the Distance with Pedro. Philadelphia, also known as the city of the brotherly love, is very well known for being the birthplace of American yummy cheese steak and delicious pretzels. Philly, it has a lot of things to do. Beautiful museums, also parks, iconic history sites, and of course, good food. Everywhere you go, you will come across something that is tied to the American history. Take as an example, the Independence Hall. Now, Independence Hall is the place to go if you want to get reacquainted with history. After all, Phyllis is famous for being the birthplace of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Independence Hall is located near the Delaware River, and it is best known for the Declaration of Independence, the Liberty Bell, among other historical sites. Sometimes you gotta break tradition in order to create your own. And that's exactly what we did with the Underground Maduro. The Underground Maduro is the OG Underground from the Underground family. This cigar was born in the factory floor in Esteli, Nicaragua. You can't find a better cigar to smoke and feel it. With the Underground Maduro, its unique Mexican Negro wrapper is delayed by over four weeks, resulting in a higher natural sugar content with a richer, creamier flavor. You put some Brazilian Marafina tobacco here, some Nicaraguan tobacco there, and a rich T52 Conorica Stacat Habano binder, and voila! You have got yourself an Undercrown Maduro that is so earthy, rich, and smooth. You will end it up one more. This smoke comes dressed in bands in dark blue and gold colors. If it doesn't make you run to a cigar shop right now, I don't know what it will. So after we have done a lot of sightseeing, I'm gonna take you guys to the hottest spot in Philadelphia for food. Follow me this way. As I say earlier, Philly is very well known for its cheese steak. So today we are going to visit Philly Steak, which is located in Pasuk Avenue and 23rd Street. They serve a wide variety of cheese steak, among all the type of food. When it comes to cheese steak, nobody does it better than Phillips. I'm going to meet with Nikki, who works at Phillips Steak. Nikki, how you doing, Nikki? Good, good. Very nice. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So what can you tell us about Phillips Steak? Well, we're here on the corner of 23rd and Pashtun in the main area. Uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, holidays, we're always here. Um, we have the best cheesesteaks in Philadelphia. My God, we are here for that. <laughs> so how was your cheesesteak? Oh, well, I haven't tried yet. I'm very excited. And I know that I'm in good hands right here. So you're from Philly, right? Yes, from Philly. Where in, where in Philadelphia? South Philadelphia. So what's the difference between from people from South Philadelphia, North, East, and West? Well, we have the best cheesesteaks. That's for one in South Philadelphia. Because when you say a Philly cheesesteak, it's really a South Philly cheesesteak. Oh not God. just a Philadelphia cheesesteak because we're here in South Philadelphia. Okay. Well, no, I have heard about whiz with. What does it mean whiz with when people come to your spot? Whiz is cheese, which is a spread, and with means with onions. So with wow. or without. Okay. So instead of saying onions, you would just say a whiz with or a whiz without. Oh, wow. So what is the ultimate combination? Because I want to get it right the first time. Well, we have our special cheesesteak, which is an old-fashioned Italian cheesesteak with, with your choice of peppers, sweet or hot, fried tomatoes, seasonings, with or without, uh, your choice of cheese. But I think the more famous one is probably the Wiz. Wiz steak is probably the most famous. Well, let's go with the famous one. What do you think? I think so. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> if you ever come to Philly, you should come to this spot. Because one thing that you're going to experience in your palate is the fresh bread and then the sliced cut of ribeye, the melted cheese, the grilled onions. My goodness, if you come to the city of brotherly love, you 
should come to try this. It's gonna make your trip so memorable. After a good cheesesteak and Phyllis steak in South Philly, it is time for a good cigar. You know me already, the Undercrown Maduro. The ultimate combination which is gonna be the dessert of your lunch. If you want to break your typical tourist path and you are visiting Pennsylvania around May, then Cigar Fest should be on your bucket list. Cigar Fest is America's biggest cigar festival, which takes place at the Split Block Resort in Lake Harmony, Pennsylvania. This is a two-day event where you will come across a mega herd of over 6,000 people from all over the U.S. Drew stay along with over 50 cigar brands from different cigar manufacturers sponsor this huge cigar festival. So today I'm going to have the honor to interview Craig Reynolds, who is the president of Cigar International. Hi Pedro, great to be here. Well, Cigar Fest at its core is a customer appreciation event. CI Nation is very loyal to us, and we wanted to create an event and a happening to really show our appreciation for everything they do for us. And I will tell you that when people are here, geographics, demographics, politics don't matter anymore for true premium cigar lovers. And That's it's a beautiful nice. thing to say. It really is. I love that, man, because you know, when it comes to cigar, cigar are the best equalizer up there, you know? Absolutely. Everybody becomes brother with a leaf. Plus, you know, friendship and good relationship comes after smoking a good cigar, you know? Well, people come here and actually plan the vacations around it. Okay. And they get together, they rent homes, they make a whole weekend or a week out of it. We've actually had people get married here and celebrate wow. their honeymoon. So oh it's crazy. God, it gets a little crazy. <laughs> now, when it comes to cigars, what is your favorite cigar? Well, what I like to say, being a retailer, my favorite cigar is always the one with the most margin. Right. Oh my God! But now we're talking about business, huh? Welcome business. <laughs> but because I'm sitting with Mr. Undercrown, <laughs> yes. my favorite cigar is Undercrown Shade, mild, creamy, good any time of the day. Oh man, that's nice, man. I'm glad to hear that. When you smoke cigars and you want to pair a cigar with, what is your ultimate combination? Well, listen, I'm not saying I have the best palate. Okay. But I'll tell you what I would think, especially here at Cigar Fest, would be good. Uh, first of all. You have to drink a lot of water to stay hydrated. Okay? <laughs> That's right. But if you're going to drink, you know, Yingling, who is a great partner of ours, the oldest brewery in the United States, but also Flying Fish. Flying and Fish. NCI created a new a new beer, okay. and it's called the Flying Fish CIPA. Oh my god. So of goodness. course I need to recommend that. That is awesome, man. Well, I truly appreciate the time that you I put in this interview, and we're looking forward to see you again. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Well, we traveled through history. A somebody at she steak party at Cigar Fest, all while smoking an underground Maduro. This is your boy Pedro Gomez from Drew State, signing off. Until next time.